Days like today have you thinking about that summer vacation to the beach as temperatures were very warm this afternoon. Most places in the mid 80s for highs. Officially the high was 87 degrees and right now it is 76 degrees with a partly to mostly cloudy sky depending on location. Humidity is at 54 percent. Dew point still in a comfortable range at 58. It may creep just a bit higher tomorrow, putting us in the range of 60 or 61, making it perhaps moderately humid tomorrow and a south wind right now coming in at six miles an hour across the rest of the area right now. Cranberries at 74 Churchill 70 degrees 74 in Bethel Park 68 in Bel Vernon and Elwood City. Butler's at 73 66 in Latrobe and 76 in West Mifflin. Here's your temperature trend over the next 24 hours. We'll see our lows bottoming out upper 60s to near 70 degrees. I think our range is about 68 to 70 and then you'll see in the afternoon 3 to 5 and 7 o'clock those temperatures holding steady in the mid 80s for highs tomorrow and then they'll start to cool a touch as we head through tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Here's a look at these sky conditions again some clouds across the area and we're going to see clouds coming and going from time to time tonight and through the day tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning again some patchy clouds as we move ahead to about 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. The clock here shows 5 o'clock. You can see a couple spotty showers moving through the area, maybe even an isolated thunder shower, but it's not going to be one size all. Everyone gets rain. It's going to be more of a hit and miss setup late tomorrow afternoon and early tomorrow evening. And then by midnight tomorrow night, shower threat is gone. We'll see patchy clouds and Friday looks to be a mainly dry day. You'll note as we get toward noon Friday, any showers that do develop close by will be from Morgantown on south, which means the rest of us should get dry weather pretty much from start to finish on Friday with clouds and some sunshine. Here's the satellite and radar loop and you can see the waves of clouds moving in from the west and south. And again, we will continue to see wave after wave of clouds coming through overnight tonight and through the day tomorrow as it stays warm and again, moderately humid. Cool front is going to start dropping into the lower lakes by the end of the day. Still not close enough to set off widespread precipitation, but again, some spotty showers or an isolated thunder shower possible. Then the boundary will draw closer tomorrow night and sink through the area by first thing on Friday morning. Then we will put together back to back dry days before I think our best threat of more numerous showers comes our way late in the weekend. Tonight, our low temperature is 68. Patchy clouds tomorrow, the high. 84 degrees, breezy and warm, a scattered afternoon shower or an isolated thunder shower. Four, five, six o'clock in the afternoon would be the time frame. On Friday, if there's going to be a shower, it's going to be down near Morgantown. Otherwise, clouds and occasional sunshine. 78 and a partly cloudy sky Saturday, also 78 on Sunday. Different feel and look to the day, though, as we'll see our better chance for more numerous showers Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. A morning shower on Monday and an afternoon high of 70.